Hey, my name is Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little mini Christmas haul to share with you today, which is very exciting. I have a good chunk of the kids' gifts. Um, I'm not showing you everything. I'm showing you the couple things I picked up today as kind of a sneak preview. My what I got my kids for Christmas video is coming out probably in two or three weeks. I'm close to being done, but I'm not quite done. Um, I am doing a good chunk of my shopping today and I've already done another chunk like over the course of the last month or so. Um, but yeah, like I said, sneak preview today. See some of the Black Friday deals I got um, and also tell you what I ordered off of Amazon today um, or at least a couple of the things. So if my mini Black Friday Christmas haul <laughs> interests you, please keep watching. Okay, so first off, I ordered the kids and my advent calendars. I got this one for the kids pretty much because it was the cheapest option. Um, I did look at the in-store options at Walmart and they were so expensive this year. It was like 10 to $15 for just a simple chocolate calendar. Or if you got like the really cheap ones, like $3.50, which is crazy because those ones always used to be a dollar, but I guess prices on everything is going up. So I decided to get them something a little nicer than the $3.50 one, um, but you know, not too nice. <laughs> so these ones were like $7, the Kinder ones, um, with a 75 cent coupon, so really not too bad. And then I bought myself this tea advent calendar and that was $25, a little bit of a splurge, but man, having like a, um, a Christmas, a tea or coffee calendar is so nice. We've sort of made it a tradition where um, we come home from school, the kids do their chocolate calendar, I make myself a drink, we all have that for our kind of after school snack, and then we settle into whatever we're doing. And so I wanted to get one for myself this year. Anyways, probably should have had the camera turned around to tell you all that, but here's my little mini Christmas haul. I'm so excited for Christmas. Oh, Christmas shopping, I live for it. Um, and I'm also very passionate about getting the best deal possible. So when I do come out with my Christmas video, I will share how I saved a lot of money on gifts this year and still managed to get my kids pretty much everything they asked for. So first off, I stopped at the thrift store and they had their 75 cent sale. I've talked about this um, during the week. A certain color tag is half off and then Friday, Saturday, it goes down to 75 cents for clothing items. So yellow tags today. Um, I got these sparkly leggings and I just kind of thought these would be fun for Christmas with an ugly Christmas sweater. So yeah, I thought at first they looked kind of leathery. Now they look sparkly. I'm not sure, but either way, I think they would be fun for Christmas. I like to be comfy and a little tacky on Christmas day. I got these socks. This is the second time I bought these. They are really nice with like clogs or Uggs, um, you know, that sort of style. And yeah, $1.50, you can't really go wrong. These are my great stocking stuffers. I'll probably throw some in my daughter's stocking. I'm not sure. I'm trying to do, I'm planning on doing mostly edible things in stockings this year because I just feel like we get a bunch of junk <laughs> in our stockings. So like arts and crafts and edible things is what I'm planning. Uh, my son asked me this morning, he's like, for Christmas, can I get one of those big bags that have little bags of chips in them as one of my presents? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so yeah, kind of funny. They also have gloves like this that have like the touch, you know, so you can use your phone when you have them on. And then this isn't Christmas related, but I really love these Starburst drink things. And so I got some of those and needed more of this. Um, our last couple containers of this have like solidified in the cupboard. I'm not sure why, but it's still way cheaper to get them at Dollar Tree than at say Walmart. So I continue to buy. Okay, into the fun stuff. Let me show you this first. So this stuff is a mixture of um, Dollarama, Dollar Tree, and um, Walmart. So, but yeah, oh, yeah, good mix of all those. So at Dollar Tree, this is what really got me into, you know, Christmas today. I picked up, I like to get each kid their own wrapping paper. Um, super fun for them to see which gifts are theirs. And I like it to be themed to things that they like. So the first stop was Dollar Tree. I got this Mario wrapping paper for my 12 year old stepson. And then I got this Minecraft wrapping paper for my seven year old son. Um, they are both into both of these things, but I think one of them is slightly more than the other. Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, it really, this would have worked out for either of them, but this is gonna be for 12 year old stepsons and this is for my seven year old sons. Um, gifts, I'm saying that weird, I feel, whatever. Um, but he is super into Minecraft. So I got that for him. And then I went to Dollarama 
and I saw this Paw Patrol wrapping paper and my toddler, my three-year-old is pretty into that right now. So I got him that, wanted to make sure I had enough. Two is probably too much, but one is definitely not enough. And then at Dollarama as well, I think it was, oh no, this was Dollar Tree. Um, I just got some Santa wrapping paper because we do one gift from Santa. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of the gifts are from us. And then at Walmart, so I needed wrapping paper for my daughter and I couldn't figure out what to get her. There wasn't really any characters I thought she'd be interested in. Um, but she is a big social justice warrior lately. <laughs> so I got her this rainbow wrapping paper with um, snowflakes on it to make it Christmassy. I thought that would be really cute. So that's for my almost 13 year old. And at Dollarama, I got, okay, so I like to get my kids a calendar for Christmas, and I already got one for my three-year-old, a Transformer one. I've shown that in a previous haul. That is tucked away. I got these for my almost 13-year-old and 12-year-old stepson um, because I got one like this for my daughter last year, and I got a cat one for my stepson, and then he was like, I want one like this. If I had known that was an option, that's what I would have wanted. So he was very jealous of this. So I got them both the same one. This is super fun. Um, a different national day each day. So I think that'll be fun for them. And then I need to find one for my seven-year-old son. Um, and I don't want to pay a lot of money. I just want a cheap little calendar for them to hang on the wall and keep track of days. I've got to find a fun one for him. Um, for my three-year-old, so this was also Dollarama, he has quite the collection of Transformers that he inherited from his brothers, from them loving Transformers over the years, but he's never received any of his own. And this was marked down from five down to two dollars. And so I got this, I think it might just go in his stocking, but I thought that would be fun for him. And it does, I'm pretty sure it transforms and it pulls back, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so it's for him. And then also at Dollarama, um, my daughter mentioned that she wanted a drawing board or something to draw on at night and so she's getting one very large Christmas gift and then her other things are going to be fairly small um, she asked for something that was quite expensive and then two things that were 50 and then $30 e each um, so her other things are going to be small or free and I've gotten pretty creative to get her a decent pile but she will have less than the others but this is one thing I'm doing so it it was only five bucks, so that's gonna be one of her gifts. Um, kind of bulk up her pile a little bit. And then this is the last thing I got, and this was at Walmart. Um, my son, oops, man, I almost dropped my phone. My son specifically pointed this out, my seven-year-old, and it went on sale from 35 to $30, which isn't a huge difference, but every dollar counts. But he really wanted this Minecraft figure set. Sorry about my reflection there. Um, yeah, I think he will be thrilled with that. So that is my little Black Friday pre-Christmas haul. Hope you enjoyed. I already showed this in my birthday video, but I thought I would show it because it kind of fits in the theme of this video as well. I found this at the thrift store last week. $20 item. I think probably just used once. Once. And it was four bucks. And I was so excited because when I opened it up, it was missing two books. And I was like, oh, well, you know, that's kind of annoying, but you know, I can probably just find something else to put in there. And then I went over to the book section of the thrift store and I found the two missing books. It was this one and one other one. And I checked to make sure it fit and it was it. So I was pretty excited about that. So each book, even though they're small, it's a full children's book. And I'm big into encouraging my kids to read as much as possible. We always include new books for their Christmas gifts and they're always happy to get them because normally their books are like thrifted or from the library. So they're usually pretty happy to get nice new books. Um, but yeah, this is super exciting. Um, the big kids will probably listen along, but this will be mostly for the little guys. And I'm also doing a Christmas Advent book for myself, but that is an ebook that is available free on Kindle Unlimited. Let me... Um, turn the camera around and tell you about that. So the advent book I'm doing is called 25 Days. I can't remember the author's name, but it's a Christmas horror mystery. And the book, like there's 25 chapters. So you start reading December 1st and you finish on Christmas. And um, the setting of the book correlates to the dates that you read as well. So it starts December 1st and continues until the 25th, just as you're reading. So I'm pretty excited about that. And it was free on Kindle Unlimited. I did make myself a short story advent calendar but I think this will be easier to manage just a chapter a day. Um, so looking forward to that as well. So I will link 
the advent calendars and that advent Christmas horror book <laughs> in my description box below in case you want to check those out. But yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. Really looking forward to my Christmas videos coming soon. Um, I'll see you in my next video. So yeah, that is my um, Black Friday pre-Christmas haul. I don't know, sneak preview of what I got my kids for Christmas. I'm so looking forward to making that video for you guys. I have a good chunk of gifts, but I don't have everything. I should be ready to do that within like two weeks. Maybe it'll be my first um, vlog this video. I don't know. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.